Hello loves and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Secret Garden um, Oracle card decks uh, that I got. I just got this um, from Amazon. I am going to be collecting like the rest of these. I already cleansed these but I haven't looked through them and I haven't seen them yet um, but I'm going to be collecting all of the rest of these because I really enjoy the um, C Melodies one. Uh, if you guys watch my review of these, I love these. These are on point. Um, they're very clear with the messages and I really love like the little uh, distinctive little kind of Easter egg artwork in the corner that like go hand in hand with the meaning of the card um, and the message of the card. So I wanted to get the next in the set. Um, so I went and got the secret garden i think the next one i'm gonna get is the forest one um but I, I got the secret garden one and i thought you know capricorn season earthy let's do uh, an unboxing of like a very earthy oracle deck so we're gonna do this one um i'm gonna be doing uh the breakdown um for the new moon next um in the next video uh for next week i just wanted to um do the unboxing first so that way you guys have you know the actual contact like like i can use it in the in that reading so i want you guys to not be like oh, new cards why didn't you do a video so here we are we're doing the unboxing um before i get started um do not forget to sign up for the workshop, the next workshop in the workshop series. Um, it's all about working with the element of water when it comes to herbalism. So we're gonna be looking at different infusions. We're gonna be looking at different preparations, both medicinal and um, spiritual preparations as well. So we're gonna be looking at floor washes, foot washes, yoni steaming we're going to be looking at a lot of things within that workshop so definitely make sure you sign up and get your tickets it's going to be for um february 8th uh which falls under a moon in virgo i kind of feel like doing all of these workshops under a moon in virgo or taurus or capricorn energies just so we can you know be hand in hand with the earth energies uh while we are doing you know while we're doing the thing right um so yeah so i just got um i also just got this tar tardis mug which i am so obsessed with it has like babe was about to steal it from me um but it has this like really cool um the top to seal it in um while it's brewing it's like really hot but while it's brewing um all the all the medicinal properties all the oils just brew in there so i don't lose any of the good stuff uh while it's brewing up and it's a really decent size because i drink a lot of tea this is a really decent size it's gonna keep it hot it's cute it's square i don't have a square teacup um and i'm pretty sure this little angle like right here is gonna be easy to drink so i got two tea bags in here because i like my tea strong um, but anyway i still have to post my tea routine stay tuned for that um that's gonna come soon uh but let's just get started on this video because i've been ranting a little bit too long but don't forget to get the tickets for the workshop the link and all the details will be posted down below in the description um now with that said so this was called the secret garden uh by jessica lee um enchanting messages from quiet spaces that's what it says here um and it says how to use a card so whenever you need inspiration or guidance sit in a peaceful spot and draw a card from the deck allow the quiet quiet murmurs from the secret garden to guide you on your perfect path um, and in the back it said, step into the wonderful world of mystery of the secret garden. The set of 40 charming cards contains small signs of encouragement imbued with the magic of every corner of the garden. Take refuge from daily life with the secret maces, rose um, trellises, I can't pronounce that word today, uh, strange statues and fairy gates as the commotions of the outside world fade away. What secrets will you discover? So we're gonna go through them. This is the back of the secret garden. It is a vibe. There is a teacup and a little chair and that's what we're doing, okay? We're, Aaron already knows. Um, but we're gonna start with the first one. And this one is called Adapt. You will get, uh, you will get yourself where you want to be, okay? Adapt. And it has, um, yep, this one has a similar kind of pattern as the mermaid one it has a little kind of easter egg in the corner of what you know um 
kind of the message part of the message of each card so this one has uh some roses in there um so it says adapt you will get yourself where you want to be okay and then it has be present use the hours don't count them oh i love that it has this sundial there um that's really that's really cool be present use the hours don't count them then we have beauty dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable wow look at that and that is a butterfly beauty dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable oh and um, then we have beginnings don't be afraid to start small and it's this little um kind of like leaf sprouting from the ground that's beautiful then we have bloom and attract more than butterflies and it has this beautiful little bird on a branch right there bloom and attract more than butterflies breathe slow down and contemplate the tea violets and ivy tangled around the eaves oh and it has this beautiful teacup right there which is this this i love the seam <laughs> i love the sea melodies but this is probably one of my favorite ones okay i have to collect the rest of them they're so good okay then we have change as with the falling leaves embrace change and it has like the leaves changing color and like falling from the ground which comes with you know change of the seasons then we have courage when picking roses don't fear the thorns it has a little roses right there courage dare take a risk and fly it has that little bird that was on the branch now flying in the air discover look at the early dew drops before they disappear with the morning sun i love this because it shows the little leaves with the with the drops on it but the really cool thing about like looking through drops is that they're they tend to be magnifying glasses um so this is like a message and a message discover it's like okay the dew drops looking at things through a that perspective of a water droplet can be like a magnifying glass like similar to something being on a glass and you being able to kind of see differently through it um it shows you more when you're intentionally actually looking at it um and trying to use it as a tool to discover something to see something a little bit different um and it's interesting that it's talking about the dew drops also because that water energy uh wow i just got so many messages from just from this card but that water energy um your emotions your intuition and how they're able to connect you connect you and reveal the truth along your journey i love this card this is probably my favorite card so far um dream have a cup of tea in the garden and find yourself a good book i love that that's the dream is connected to um like reading and it has a little stack of books right there um i really love that because and it's so funny because this takes me to the Sandman episode, uh, the last episode in the show. For those who have not watched the Sandman, go watch it. It's so good. I should have been watched it. <laughs> I'm currently reading um, the all of the books, um, <laughs> all of the comics right now, um, which is fine because I love reading. I already like y'all were midway through January and I already read like I think I'm at 60 books already. Um, because I've been binge listening to um, the Diary of River Song audiobooks from Big Finish uh, and a lot of different audiobooks that they have. And a lot of their audiobooks are like an hour, an hour and 30 minutes long, like the stories. And they count as audiobooks because they're like short stories. Um, so because I've been binge listening to a lot of them, I have met, I'm very close to meeting my quota for the year. I might reach like maybe almost 300 books this year. We'll see. Um <laughs> we'll see how that goes um but yeah i've been i've been reading a lot of stuff uh audiobooks wise um so yeah so i'm currently working there's a couple of different books that i'm like hopping from into because yeah um so stay tuned for some book recommendations i am still um putting together my herbal book recommendation so stay tuned for all that that's definitely coming but anyway this card reminds me of the um the last episode of the sandman if you haven't watched the sandman skip this part of the video i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you, you should have watched it yesterday um anyway there's this part like with the fact that it could connect to books where 
Okay, so part of the plot of the last episode is that like the guy, he got handed down a goddess who inspires men um, with their creativity, with inspiration. So they're able to create, they, she inspires artists to have ideas and create. Um, and so Dream, because that ended up being his ex-wife, um, Dream comes in trying to set her free. And he's like, oh, what you want is inspiration? I'll give you all of the ideas because obviously dreams are full of ideas. You have full creative visual like control and, and you can be inspired by so many things. So Dream himself is a huge, um, and the endless, They ha he holds a bunch of creative ideas as well. It's not just like her being in inspiration of men as like a goddess. Um, if, y if you haven't watched the show, you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry if that's confusing to you. But if you have, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it, this is funny because um, that that reminded me, grab yourself a good book, but the card is dream. Um, it's interesting to me how when you're dreaming and even when you're reading a book, you are tapping into a part of your consciousness where you're trying to create something. It's almost like tapping into your subconscious, but actually controlling it where you're directing the narrative and you're envisioning what's happening in the story. So I love that that is still um, expressed as, oh, well, this is a dream, which means that all really good books that you read, all that whole journey was like a conscious dream that you took upon yourself. So that's like a beautiful notion. Um, I really love this card as well. I love all of these cards. Okay, I'm just being biased. Uh, then we have forgiveness. A crushed flower still gives off a sweet scent. <laughs> <laughs> forgiveness okay and then it has the flower there I love I love this quote right here because it takes you into herbalism and how you can use flowers and use um a different stage of something to still produce something that is meaningful worthwhile or sweet or having a, a sweetness um this mirrors uh being even like broken from something or being hurt by something and then at the same time um still being able to carry your own personality still being able to be yourself or still being able to persevere uh regardless of that thing that happened so that that's that's a beautiful like a crushed flower still gives off the sweet scent so even if something has been tainted or broken it can still be something beautiful um and it gets it the fact that that's connected to forgiveness is powerful because it's like doesn't matter if you crush me I can still I, I forgive you and I can move forward and still be amazing right that's beautiful that is so 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 beautiful I love these decks already I, Jessica Lee you'll be doing good with these decks let me tell you anyway generosity so seeds of kindness and then we have like acorns right there I love that because especially that is connected to that because um th those grow really really strong trees and those connections that generosity that that um openness also can build connections to uh dependability and and you being trusted you you being able to like have the, these connections that end up bearing a very strong foundation so that's actually really really beautiful as well then we have grow all flowers must grow through dirt. That's beautiful. All flowers must grow through dirt and it has the flowers right there. That is beautiful because a lot of people don't see the magic in the earth, like the dirt itself, like the ground. Um, people end up only falling in love with what grows out of it, but it takes growing through what people don't see as valuable and you know persevere persevering within your own personality persevering within what needs to grow out when how you need to show up how that plant needs to show up in the world to still like show up and and grow and follow the sun and and still follow the light right that's beautiful that's i'm telling you they've they be hitting it with these cards um then we have hidden depths you only see the surface look beyond and i love that it has some lotus flower in the water there because part of like a secret garden so you think about like these little uh like bird baths or like a small pond or something like that that is beautiful that's like hidden depths you only see the surface look beyond this reminds me of one of my favorite scenes of atonement which is one of my favorite uh books and one of my favorite movies as well Karen knightley is just one of my favorite actresses 
since I was a little girl. So that movie, that scene at that like fountain where, you know, she has to go in the water. That's what it just reminded me of. Um, you, o you only see the surface look beyond. And it was funny because that's one of, was one of the tensions between their relationship in, in that movie that was like the connection and the love that was between them. Again, if you don't know what, you're, what I'm talking about, everything I'm saying is going to sound very confusing. But I'm just giving you things that you need to go read or see or whatnot. But Hidden Depths, Reveal the Truth, I love that. Beautiful. And we have Joy, Make Time for the Little Things Today. And then it has the little ladybugs. I love that. I love that. Joy, Make Time for the Little Things Today. Um, I love that too because the Secret Garden is very like chill in the garden with the plants and the birds in the morning and it's just like a very chill like deck like i really love the vibe so far um listen be alert let the soft chiming bells call to nearby fairies <laughs> and it has a little fairy right there listen now when it comes to fairies that's a whole nother conversation for another video because i know fairies are very um specific topic of discussion um especially depending on which culture you're from and what practices you practice um fairies are seen as many different things um and i cannot dive into all of that in this video but um, it's really interesting that um that's actually coming up on here um when it comes to spirits and different spirits in like the uh, around flowers and trees and in um different areas like gardens and woods and stuff like that um it's important to actually be alert i love that it's like hey be alert you know listen to like what's going on around you because a lot of the time the reason why a lot of people have some negative experiences with certain um spirits um in you know the woods or the gardens or what whatnot is because they're not paying attention they're not listening um and some things are very much in their face uh and then people get caught up in some nonsense so I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying. Again, that's a whole video for another day. Um, then we have Move. A rolling stone gathers no moss. Oh. Move. A rolling, a rolling stone gathers no moss. And it has a stack of stones right there. That is such an interesting way to put that. That is such an interesting way to put that. Because it also reminds me of the song, A Rolling Stone. Um, but it's interesting because moss is green it's growing it's something that's alive that grows right um so you have you know the stone that already has its own energetic uh spirit and body and then <sighs> a rolling stone god there's no moss so something not stable can't grow ah listen anyway the messages and messages okay opportunity there's no use looking um for luck it arrives at unexpected times <laughs> and i love that it has a little clover right there that's also true though that's also true sometimes you can't force opportunities or things to like happen sometimes they actively just you just have to let it happen like unexpectedly patience wait for the fruit to ripen okay for my non-earth sign people that don't know how to act and then you have a whole bunch of fruit right here patience lessons in capricorn season is patience honestly persevere leave no stone stone unturned and then it has to stack right here very resembling a mountain very much giving capricorn energy as well play among the grass and wild violets lie undisturbed little secrets to uncover and i love that it has these little mushroom circles there again that's a video for another day i cannot talk about like i can't talk about that right now it would just take a lot of time for me to like go in and explain some of these like things <laughs> so <laughs> potential the little the literest key can open the heaviest door present journey into the garden to escape the two eternities the past and the future i love that and then it has like a little like leaf which very much resembles like sage or mint it's very pretty very very pretty radiance keep your head held high and follow the sun and then it has a sunflower because we all know what sunflowers do 
or we should know by now, relax, delight in the powdered gold sunshine. It has a little sun right there, um, which is a great thing to do in a garden. Obviously, that's what everything else in the garden is doing. Release, lighten your load. And it has the, I can't remember what that thing is called. Um, It's like a, I can't remember what it's called, but it moves stuff in the garden. It has wheels and then it stops. I can't remember what it's called right now. So don't ask me what it is, but I know what it is. Um, Rest, slow down. You don't have to solve everything today. And it has a little hummingbird. This definitely connects me to my ancestors um, because the significance of hummingbird, uh, specifically with my Taino ancestors. So that's that's beautiful. Um, retreat, never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment, giving Virgo energy. Um, and then we have this beautiful little door that's very like resembling some, you know, Hobbit vibes. Self-care, tend to your garden. And then it has a little watering jar. I know I'm about to get that card all the time when my plants are like, uh, you need to give me some water. <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> Serenity. Value quiet days with only the rustling leaves breaking the silence. This is very fall vibes. Very, very, very much Virgo energy as well. Share. The busy bee should, should still make the time for each flower. And then it has little bees. Okay, strength. Don't let the weeds and tizzles cultivate in your garden. Something that I say all the time. And it has, okay, something I say all the time. And you guys know that. Success. Bloom wherever you are planted. Yes. Surprises. Venture down the rabbit hole. This little, oh, oh, such a cutie. Okay transform rise above any situation and become the best version of you it has a butterfly on top of a, a daisy twilight surrender to the last hour when the light barely touches the flowers oh, love that as someone who like does not like twilight like the book series and and the movies like I love the word, but I cannot stand. Do not get me started. <laughs> Wallflower. Look for the crack in the concrete to find your way out. Love that. We're getting to the last of the last. Weed. Don't tolerate less than you deserve. Don't tolerate less than you deserve. You already heard. Wildflower. Live an uncontrolled life free to grow anywhere and bound by nothing. <laughs> love it. Love it. One of my favorite decks. Already one of my favorite decks. I know I say that for almost every deck that I have, but y'all, like, she really do be killing these decks when it comes to, like, the purpose, the, the meaning, the... Okay, Jessica Lee, listen, you really did that. You really, you really sat there and, and did that with all these quotes and, um, and the vibe and the secret garden and I'm feeling it. And I love like, the, I'm going to have to collect the rest of them. I know there's a star one and there's a forest one. Okay. So I'm probably going to get the forest one next, but there's also a star one, which I'm probably going to get during Aquarius season. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, but yeah, no, she's, she's killing it with this, with these decks, like come on okay anyway as we always do i know this video is going in a little bit long and you guys know i talk a lot um but we're gonna pull a card for myself right now like i already told you guys i already cleansed this deck so we're gonna see what do what does the ancestors want me to know right now okay <laughs> okay so we got joy make time for the little things today And then we have grow. All flowers must grow through dirt. I know what this is talking about. Um, and I will definitely be making time for the little things today. I'm about to have me a wonderful cup of tea because I love this cup so much. I am like so in love with it. I cannot stress how in love with it I am because it's the cutest, it's the cutest damn cup ever. Granted, I love my uh, my witch's brew, my cauldron um, cup too. I love that one too. I have a lot of cups that I love. Anyway, I'm going to stop ranting because you guys know I can go on for a bit. But thank you, ancestors, for my messages. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing <laughs> of the Secret Garden. I will do the other one next, probably the forest one and the star one soon. Uh, so stay tuned for all of that to come. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for being here um, and for all the love, all the support. I will see y'all in the next video and stay tuned for the next one. Don't forget to sign up for the workshop and the Patreon is down below. Have a wonderful night.